I think most of you are pretty well aware of who Sarah Michelle Gellar is, and of course her involvement with the very popular Buffy the Vampire TV series that really put her on the map. Well, recently she's been very outspoken about the fact that that doesn't need a reboot, which has gotten her a lot of support. But then she decided to say, also, what's the point with casting women in these superhero roles or roles where they get highlighted as being powerful because they're just going to get hatred? So coincidentally enough, she's now getting hatred. Sarah Michelle Gellar played Buffy the Vampire Slayer for over 140 episodes between 1997 and 2003. She, of course, would go on and have plenty of other roles, but that's really the career-defining role. Of course, it was also, like, genre-defining. It brought vampires very much into the forefront of pop culture again, along with Blade. It was just this moment in time where you really had to be there to experience what was going on. I remember I was very young, when Buffy the Vampire Slayer started, and I was automatically in. I was still scared. It was a very scary show at the time. Now, if you go back and watch it, of course, it's a little comedic and funny. But again, you know, being young, it was what it was. I watched it all the way through, watched the spinoff show, loved all of it. So recently, she's been doing the rounds talking about the potential revival of Buffy that's been rumored. She's been saying, no, that doesn't need to happen. We did it. What's the point? Do something else. But then she was also talking about the whole idea of casting females in lead roles. And she specifically wanted to talk a little bit about projects like Captain Marvel or Miss Marvel. And she specifically cites the trolls on IMDb, on Rotten Tomatoes, talking about how these people essentially just go out there. They don't know anything about it but they review bomb these and they become toxic just because, oh, it's a female lead, better go after it. And she says that she's seen this on her front as well. Every time she talks positively about Buffy, everybody's like, yeah, we don't need more Buffy. You're the best, you're the best. But the moment she said, well, here's this project. How about this female lead or this and that? And she's rumored for something, which she has been in the last decade. People will automatically jump on and go, uh, Mary Sue, she's just trying to take over men's roles. And she says, you know, it's kind of very toxic. And um, she wants to single out that these uh, you know, toxic fans are everywhere and they're just flooding everything in the fan base. And sometimes it's hard to uh, keep up with it. And she says she supports everything that Marvel is doing, especially with the female leads, considering how many actual male leads have been there. But that still doesn't change the fact that the moment that a female is cast... It's pretty much hatred universally across the board for it. <laughs> 